So this is all very easy to say, but not very easy to do. And the main reason I think it's hard to do is because we can see it in other people, but we cannot see it in ourself. This is a problem, not easy to solve. So you can practice your presentation in a mirror. Look at yourself in a mirror. I mean, it's a little bit embarrassing, but it's just you yourself, so just give it a try. Practice your presentation in a mirror to perfect your facial expressions and body language. This kind of practice helps you see just how many expressions you are capable of making. Without practice, the expressions to show to an audience may not have the meaning you intend. Until you see yourself actually making a facial expression, you only know how it feels. You don't know how it looks, which sounds strange, right? If I smile, I know I'm smiling. But how do you know your smile looks serious and not silly or like a clown, stupid? So you really should practice. It's really the best way to get feedback to yourself. I like to think about it as like when you go to the gym and you work out or you do yoga, right? You can watch a video and someone tells you how to do some kind of yoga move or how to exercise. But how do you know you're doing it right? Well, one good way is to have mirrors inside the gym. This is why gyms have mirrors, so you can see what you're doing. Are you using the machine correctly? Are you making your yoga position correct? Is your back straight? How do you know if you can't see? And that's why we have mirrors, so we can see ourselves. So is it such a crazy idea? I don't think it's such a crazy idea. I think it's a good idea. By far the best way, however, to practice is for a presentation is to record yourself with a video camera, a camcorder or a digital recorder camera, for example, or your phone. You can just use your phone to record. This is actually the best way because you're going to be looking at yourself on video. It's not easy because it feels very embarrassing to see yourself. Most of us are very shy to watch ourselves on video. We're very critical of ourselves. But the more you do this, the more you'll improve. Just like with exercise. If you can see yourself, you'll see where you're doing good. You'll see where you're doing not good. You'll improve and you'll get better much faster. But it's not easy to watch ourselves. Oh, I'm so ugly. I hate myself. Look at I'm doing so terrible. My pronunciation is so bad. Right? You're very critical of yourself, but I'm saying don't be embarrassed. Give it a try. It can really help. Try to think of the person in the video as someone else, not yourself. And be critical of where the body language doesn't work and how improvements can be made. So basically, pretend it's not you. Pretend that's somebody else on the video. That's not me. And that way it will make it easier. After making some improvements, record yourself again. And then ask some friends to give you some feedback. Ask them to be honest and help you improve. Of course, usually our friends would not like to be honest. Our friends would like to say, oh, it's great, don't worry, you look wonderful, you're great. So we would like them to be honest, right? Again. How do you accept that kind of criticism, constructive criticism? The way is to think about that video is not me, that's someone else. And I'm trying to help that person improve. Just like if you were exercising, I want to do better. How do I do that? I need to look at myself. I need to get feedback from other people.